right, today I'm here with Nocturnal Car Club. And here I have, is it Sean? Sean. All right, awesome, and Gary? Yes. All right, can you guys tell me a little bit about Nocturnal? Well, yeah, well, um, we're actually from the Henderson, Nevada chapter. Um, myself and Gary are councils here. Um, we have a chapter full of at least 12 members, current active members. Yeah, a lot of, lot of our members right now, you know, we. I say we say active is you know coming or either coming around working working on the cars stuff like that, but like I said everybody's here is it's 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 based on family, based on family with our chapter. So we do it like I said we do a lot of shows whether it be shows barbecues stuff like that, you know especially like I said especially you know barbecues. Nice is that as a family because I want to know since now that I'm part of it I would love to know more. Yeah, it's definitely a family. Um, we're all about family. We all have our families. Um, some of us has wives, kids. Um, we like to make sure they're involved as well. Um, same thing when we go to other states. Uh, you'll know us. I mean, you'll see our logo everywhere. Every car show, you'll see us 20, 30 deep with other members from other chapters. Um, with, with their families, their kids will have the logos, the shirts on, mm -hmm. um, representing as much as us, and we like to get them involved as well. Yeah, that, that's, that was one of my biggest things is when I, when I came here was, was being able to bring my kids, my wife, stuff like that. You know, because like I said, that you know they've you know they've been around the blood, the sweat, the tears, you know everything, you know with the cars, and to be able to you know everybody else all come together, you know what I mean? Yeah. And how much time do you think it takes to put all that work into a car? Like, is it months? And do people change them up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it could take anywhere from a couple months. Depends. Um, some people buy cars are somewhat complete, or some people decide to go the full build. That could take anywhere from a year, two years, three years. And then if you're not, if you don't like it. You know, we're always getting ideas from other members or friends of ours or families, mm -hmm. and you might not like one thing, so you switch it up, and it could take another couple months. What do you mean by full build? A full build could be anything from, you know, you buy a car f stock, mm -hmm. um, putting rims on it to full paint, full interior, customization, whatever the case may be. I mean, yeah, you can, I mean, you can, as far as going all the way from, you know, stripping it all the way down, we have members that have taken the car completely apart for all the way to the frame mm -hmm. and building it from there all the way to the top. So what? it... Go ahead. No, sorry. What have you done with yours? What is yours like? Um, like I said, I went from paint to interior, um, paint interior, um, partial under, partial undercarriage, air suspension. Uh, I've got sound. I've got TVs, um, everything under the hood, uh, performance parts, stuff like that. So I, I've gotten I've gotten quite a you know a, a little bit into it. But now I, I you know kind of look at my car. I'm like, okay, well, what else can I add to it? You know, what what else can we do this? You know, how can we be better? And sometimes it kind of sucks because you gotta, you know, you gotta take it apart to, and put it back together. And it sucks watching that happen. <laughs> yeah. It sucks watching that happen. How much time has it taken your vehicle? Oh man. I mean, um, well, when I don't have a deadline, mm -hmm. um, like I said, probably a year into a year straight, maybe about seven, eight months, I had to build it. Wow. Yeah. So like I said, it just it just depends on you know what shows you know you gotta hit, what shows are you know are here in town because we mm -hmm. do travel. That's that's one of the things that we do is we do is we travel. Nice. Um, but if we can't, then you know we uh, we support other members that can. Um, that's and that's a big and that's a big thing as well. Cool. What about you with yours? Um, I drive a 2006 Chrysler 300. Um, it took me about two and a half years. It's almost finished. I'm gonna be bringing it out this year for the first couple of shows. Hopefully, next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I did everything. I started from the stock car. I did uh, wheels, air suspension. I I took it in just to get a couple basic things done, maybe a custom dash, and then turn into well, you're doing the dash, why don't you do the doors, trunk, everything else, full setups, um, air suspension, Lambo doors, paint, everything. So it took about two and a half years to get it to where it's at now. Nice. So and creativity, where does that come from? Is it stuff that you've seen maybe growing up, or is it just, like, how does that work? What, what gives you your ideas? It's definitely something that I think you see or you picture. You know, you could look at a, a vehicle of a different kind, and you might like the paint job, right? You might like the way they did theirs. For me, it was when I was 15 years old, I, I built a lowrider with my dad. Nice. So I took some of that ideas from the lowrider scene, like the, the interior style and some of the paint to put into my car because I want to mix the dub scene with the, the lowrider style. Okay. So I think it's, and seeing other people's cars, you always get ideas. That way you can kind of see where you want to go to and then you take it and twist it on your own. When you said dub to lowrider, right? That's what you said dub? Correct. What is I, I know lowrider gro mm -hmm. low growing up, but I don't, what is the dub thing? Dub is more the new style cars, mm -hmm. um, you know, Escalades, Mopar, Chrysler. I mean, it could be really That's anything. like pretty much, pretty much everything from, from motorcycles to trikes all the way to, to lifted trucks. Um, the big, the scene has really changed for big trucks now. 
a lot of it is you know huge tires huge rims huge suspensions um chrome suspension stuff like that that's that's become like a real big thing right now so okay. it's looking at looking at dub dub is like i would say probably one of the hardest shows to compete at because that's Wonder. like everybody you know they we compare that as like the super bowl of, of car shows nice so you know, lowrider, yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lowrider is a hard show to to compete at. I mean, you're, we're going against guys that have put you know fifty, hundred, two, three hundred thousand dollars into just suspension work. Wow. You know, but it, like I say, it does have its own categories. But dub is like is a completely different ball game. Every like, thing, everything in there is is oversized. Everything in there is oversized. So it's if you're going to dub, you make sure like I said, you are ready to go to dub. <laughs> yeah, that's back, for sure. Back in the days, Lowrider had their shows, Dub had their shows, mm. and then Dub started welcoming the the Lowrider scene. So okay. Lowrider cars competed at Dub, and now Lowrider has welcomed our stock cars to compete with them as well. Oh, so it gives nice. everybody a fair chance. So we get to mingle with different that's cultures, cool. different everything. So, and that probably opens up that creativity too, uh, seeing 100%. all the different styles oh, yeah. and kind of oh, blending yeah. them. Yeah. I think that's awesome. The creativity that's really cool. is that's what that's the, like probably the number one thing is the creativity. Mm. Looking at everybody else and see like, oh man, where did they think of this? How did they get that? Yeah. You know, it's like where did that even come from? You know, like like you said, you know, talking about how you know how he got into the car scene. My, me, I started off with with actually um, with a Mopar. My one of my cars that I ho I started hooking up was a I think it was a 2006. Uh, was it 2006 yeah 2006 uh, 300 and i was his only straight motor like i wanted to be fast mm -hmm. and then you know after a while i was like well what if i change this to in the interior what if i do wheels mm -hmm. but then like i said you know that was another that was another thing gotcha. but like i said you know getting into this whole you know the whole dub scene that's it's definitely been an eye-opener for me you know it makes yeah. me feel like you know i know I, my car looks good but when i went to dub i was like man i want to be on this kind of level yeah yeah I think that's cool. So when you talked about the family thing, but how's that atmosphere like when they're all there? Like, what is it about the family kind of being there? Do they really get into it? Is it just because they think they need to be there because dad is there? What is it like when you actually bring your family? Well, honestly, it's I I like the support. My I have I have all boys. Mm -hmm. Well, now I have a little girl, but all my boys they enjoy it. My middle son actually just got a chance to go to Lowrider for the first time. Mm -hmm. He thought it was the best experience in the world. He's just like, I can't believe, you know, this because all he only sees and he hears about it and he sees the videos and stuff like that. But he doesn't actually see that all the members are together. All of us are competing together. And then mm -hmm. he gets to see all the other chapters and all he didn't he didn't know that it was it wasn't like this. It was mm -hmm. like this. You know what yeah, I mean? That's cool. That's so uh, it's it's pr it's pretty cool. It's, it's actually really pretty nice. cool seeing their faces and they get excited seeing like what dad did like something really. That's awesome. Yes. And what about for you? Yeah, my uh, before right when I got I joined the car club, my wife really hadn't been around any shows like this at all. Mm -hmm. So she saw it on videos and pictures and stuff, and she knew what I wanted to do. Um, so the first show we went to was in Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, she couldn't um, believe how much time it took just to set your vehicle up. Right. Um, you know, we're all there, and you know, I mean, you spend hours just cleaning and s helping everybody out from all different chapters. Um, she's been very supportive. I mean, I have uh, my wife and my son. Uh, my son's not too much into cars, but he still likes to go around to support me. Yeah. Um, but my wife's now, she's getting into it where she'll help other members out. She'll help clean. Cool. She'll be there when she can um, and help support. So it, it feels good. You That's know, good. sometimes there's ups and downs with the family thing or the car thing. But at the end of the day, when your, your wife or your kids are there to support you, yeah. even if they're not really into it, you feel good about yourself. You know, the, the fact that they're there. They're there to support you. Exactly. You're there. You're there no, that's support good. You, you need that because then they understand better the time that you take away from them. Exactly. When you're working on what you're working with. They get to see why and exactly. what you put into it. So that's, yeah, that's actually, uh, I like that. Because some people don't understand that. No. And it can get aggravating and it can cause oh, yeah. issues. So. It, 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 like I said, it really does when they, when they really mm -hmm. don't understand what it takes. Mm -hmm. And the big, like another one thing it really takes is the money. The money it takes to actually put into these cars. Yeah, don't talk the, about that. The time, the pay, <laughs> the patience. You know, I mean, I like guess so we all know that's a that's a big subject on. Mm. Oh, you know, when when we go around other car clubs and we go around other you know people's car scene and they look at our cars, they're like, oh, that's nocturnal. Well, it, and you look at these other cars and they, they're they're bad. They're awesome. They're mm -hmm. you know they're good, but it, they're a different style. We're a completely completely different level. Like we we look we see something and we're like, okay, well we can change it. Well, why don't we change it like this so it'll look even way better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we just we we like to go over the top. That's good. You know, we like to stand out. Yeah, I've seen that actually. So that's what's really cool. That's what got me wanting to do it. So I love it. What about events? 
do you guys know? What events are coming up that you guys have to go to, or do you think things are going to be different because of what's going on right now? Right now, definitely things are different. Mm -hmm. um, the next major show that we have is Lowrider Magazine. Um, which is in September. We're hoping, we're praying for that. A lot of us are getting ready for that to break our cars out, or uh, some of us are redoing the cars. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple of low local shows here. Um, we have Lowrider Magazine for the major, and hopefully in October we have a Phoenix dub. So we'll be traveling to Phoenix for that, hopefully, as long as everything you know pans out the way it should. Right. Hopefully. I mean, yeah. like you said, you know, just due to everything that, that, you know, that's going on, you know, they, they've canceled a lot, of, a lot of big shows for us this yep. year. But you know we are if we can we you know we we want to support you know the shows that are here in our in our hometown, yeah. if we can. I mean if they don't get shut down, of course. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if they would start to do like weird online stuff. The, I mean, well, actually, people started trying to do. Well, no, stuff Dumb Magazine we actually know. started doing a, a online show where you could you you register your car. Mm -hmm. You well, you post it. I don't think it costs anything, and people from around the world would just vote on it, and they oh, would actually cool. give you a prize like a trophy or a cash payout. They did that for two months, I think. Yeah, they did that oh, as wow. a two. Yeah. And we had we actually have a member from our from our chapter mm -hmm. actually that was um nominated. He, yeah, that was nominated and he actually he he did what did what did he score first? Uh, in, in this category? First the category, right. I'm right, if you if you look right here, Brian Shaw, um mm -hmm. he has the the Cougar. Um you know, it's it's a beautiful car. He put a lot of time and that car was built from the ground up. Mm -hmm. And you know literally he was so happy <laughs> to compete this year, but you know, a lot of things got pushed back, so the fact that he even got to go online and people from all over the world got to vote on it. That was just tremendous. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. So what's the criteria in, in being in your guys' uh, club? Like what do you have to have? Um, you have to have at least three mods. Um, you want to start, if you once you start your meetings, you want to have at least two mods. Um, at least going into doing working on two mods, and then by the time you, you do your fourth meeting, um, you want to have at least three mods complete to be able to get a side flag. And then we had to vote you in the, the chapter. And what exactly is a side flag? Was that side flag is what either goes on the side window, depending on the kind of vehicle it is, mm -hmm. whether you know whether it be uh, say car, truck, SUV, bike. Th it's going to be different, but it, the, the the name of the club will be on on the vehicle somewhere. Mainly, it's either going to be the side, the back two windows. If it's a bike, probably either you know either probably the front or it might be even be the side, just depending depending oh. on the vehicle, just depending on where. You know, a flag flag. no, oh, no, no. it's it's a lo it's a logo of the club. No, yeah. no, no, not a not a flag. No, we're not gonna <laughs> you know you know put a post on the back of it. And you know, confusing, isn't it? no, no, side, side sticker, side sticker, side sticker. Got it. Go. Okay, saying nocturnal. That's Correct. what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> and then we <laughs> had to vote know. you in. Uh, all members had to you know take a vote to see if yeah. they want that member in. And then after that, you got to it's it's full run. After that, you got to start putting in a lot of work, showing up at shows, awesome. uh, meetings. You know, we have a meeting once a month. Um, picnics, barbecues, stuff like that. So nice. that's one of the main categories. And then after that, it's just if you want to go for a front uh, front sticker, mm -hmm. you had to come out with at least five mods oh, okay. um, to be able to get the one across the front windshield, which is that's like that's like the that's hardest one to, to yeah. get really is because oh, really? yeah we we actually go through the vehicle and then we see what counts what counts as a mod a major mm -hmm. mod and what does not count as a major mod. Exactly. Like cool. just as you know, just say oh an exhaust system doesn't count. You know, even though you say you put whatever much money into it, it does yeah. no, it doesn't matter. So it would have to be like five either body mods, whether it be suspension, paint, interior, um, trunk display, stuff like that. New wheels, okay. yeah. I've seen the plaques. What about that? I've seen that. Yes, yeah, so, uh, we do. We do have a few members that are that are plaque members, which mm -hmm. uh, you have to be. <coughs> excuse, sorry, you have to be in the club at least a minimum of two years. Mm -hmm. You do have to have uh, travel and seven uh, body mods on the vehicle. So it, whether and that's literally that you really have to go through. What was that? Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. I was <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just I'm just you're rambling good, and thinking good. off the top of my you're head. Good. You gotta have at least seven body mods. Um, travel at <laughs> least two out of town shows. Okay. Um, and be at least a member for about two years. Oh, so you have to do the. You have yes, yes, you have to. Okay. Yeah, you have to show that you're gonna go out of town and compete in other states. And that's that's the and that's the hard and that's the, like I was saying that's the hardest part. Sometimes not everybody can travel. Yeah. So okay. and, and I guess so we do make arrangements to help each other out. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Do you remember your first time like winning, like getting something, and what was it for? Let me see. My f my actually my first first one was actually for paint actually, and that one was actually right when I got my car back from a car accident. Oh wow! And um, I think it was a what was that show called? I remember calling uh, actually Eddie. At, at like nine, at eight o'clock at night, saying, "Hey, there's a last-minute show. Do you want to go?" And he was actually coming from State Line, 
and literally driving, you know, all the way from out there, being in the sun all day long to come to this show. Mm. And we actually both ended up winning, but that was actually my first win was getting uh, best paint. Oh. And that, that, so that, that was pretty cool. And, I, and from then on, you know, it, uh, what he was telling me was like, he goes, this is only the beginning. Watch much more. And I'm like, well, you know, that, that, I think that was luck. Mm. And then, you know, then they started coming. Oh, don't get me wrong. I have lost. I've lost some. Mm -hmm. You you, know, you say you lose and then you win. You know, you can't win them all. Yeah. Right. Well, what about you? I you actually, your first um, one? right now, my car is actually coming out for the first time. Oh, cool. So I've been building for the last two years. So I'm looking forward to a couple of shows and hopefully, you know, hoping for the best for all the work and time I put into it. Um, you got know, a beautiful car. It's it, you're gonna do great. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> we're that we're sweet. definitely we're 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 coming in strong. We have a lot of heavy hitters um, mm -hmm. in our our chapter. We you know a lot of us are coming out we're pretty strong, if not redoing our cars. Cool. So I you know I. I think we're gonna come out pretty hard this year. So on average, though, how many shows do you think? Well, since you're gonna be doing your car the first time, but yeah. you've been to many shows. Oh yeah, with I've been, everybody. Yeah, I've been to every show that I could. Okay. Yeah. And then like how like how many do you think? Then how many do you go a year? About um, how many do this pa this past before I set the car down, I probably went, I hit every show last year. So I want to say probably it was at least eight, maybe nine, ten major shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least. We did, yeah, we did quite a bit. So we went to Fontana last year. Yeah, that was. Um, so that was an out of state show. That was uh, definitely a, a nice, you know, that was the first time for you, right? Yeah, that was a, that was my first dub show appearance. Honestly, I didn't I didn't think I wasn't even gonna, you know, be able, you know, to get anything there. But I, mm -hmm. I came there just, you know, okay, I made it here. So let's, you know, let's let's see how the car does. Yeah. And like I said, I ended I ended up taking uh, some hardware home, which was kind of cool. Yeah. Deserve but it, it was it was completely unexpected. But Which is even better. Yeah, yeah. It was. It, I, I did. Cool. I honestly no, didn't. He deserved I, it though. He I, came out yeah. nice. I didn't think I was gonna win. I honestly didn't. Everybody else thought I did, but I. Did, I just didn't feel like my car was good enough to be there. Mm -hmm. But and you know when they called a name up there and I'm just like, <laughs> no, nah, I th think they just meant that. They think they messed up. <laughs> That's cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Does, how does it feel that first time when you win though? Like the really, really, like just like. When I first got that plaque, that was probably the best feeling in the world because I had never, I had been to some shows before, but I hadn't won anything. I mean, you get one of those for an attendance, you know, you get like a little, you thanks know, like, coming. yeah, yeah, thanks yeah, for thank coming, high cool. five kind of, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was something, it was cool. You know, you get like a little medal, but it's, it's not, a, it wasn't a plaque, it wasn't a trophy. So I was like, man, you know, you kind of feel a little bit down about it, but you're like, okay, you know, it's, it's something. But then when I got that first plaque, mm -hmm. I was like, holy shit, are you serious? <laughs> you know, I was like, are you sure about this? And, I, you know, I, I even questioned myself, but it was, it was, it's, it's a great feeling. I'll, I'll, nev I'll never forget it. That's cool. And I know you guys do a lot of fun stuff. Don't you guys do, like, music videos? Don't you guys do more than just what other chapters do? Don't you guys add a little something? Yeah, we, we try to bring something to the, to the table, something a little bit different. You know, we do, we do some videos. Like I said, you know, all the chapters do barbecues. I mean, we all hang out. We do birthday parties together, but... I think standing out with the whole music videos and stuff like that. I think that was, you know, that was a little bit different. And we also have some other things in the in the mean in the works right now. Yeah, but definitely. can you talk about them? Or no? Some some we can, <laughs> some we can't. You know, like I said, we'll All just right. we'll when it gets closer, we'll be able to disclose it a little bit more. So the ones you can talk about, what do you got? Um, <laughs> music videos and redoing some music for sure. Definitely, okay. definitely. Cool, cool. Then we definitely got to check some of that out. So we'll play some of that so everybody can check it out and see what that's about. Do you guys have any funny stories you could tell us? Anything that's happened at the shows? Just Well, I mean, when we went to Fontana, we we were talking about this for months last year. And when Gary won his first, you know, real, you know, when he was really proud of his trophy, we did that. Sh that was a turnaround. We did it a night trip. Oh, my we, God. We, we talked about leaving, you know, maybe on Wednesday to get there for Friday to show up. So well, before we start, we should back up right. to let them know what the original <laughs> plan was. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed and to who got the brilliant idea to do a turnaround it wasn't trip. That was me. That was Eddie. Because <laughs> so I have gone to Fontana before, the year before. And so I told him, I was like, well, let's go like two days before. Let's mm -hmm. get there relaxed. You know, that way we have enough time to show up in the morning. See, no. that sounded great. We were going to get, you know, gra grab hotel, grab food. We're going to hang out. We're we're gonna go party with the other members it, you know it was gonna be you know something like that because yeah, we were having a party that weekend yep yep so then we uh, eddie's like no let's leave like the friday morning friday so can, friday morning's rolling at eight eight nine o'clock in the morning so that means what we left at like two th in the morning three <laughs> three a.m we hit the road yeah we lo we load up on hot dogs and monster and <laughs> gary and i load up his car and my car and eddie took his truck and armando and everybody and we yeah. hit the road and we were there early we went to a friend's house uh, one of our friends in the chapter in ie and uh, we hung out with them for like 20 minutes, and we had to hit the show, and we were there 
from day till night. We left about 10 o'clock at night. We got back about an hour later than we left. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, got, we got back about 4 in the morning. Yeah. For almost close to 5 in the morning because uh, I remember seeing the sun. The sun was starting to come up. And these guys are, I'm on the way back driving, and I'm like starting, they're like, hey, why is my trailer swerving? Are you serious? Yeah, they're like, "Where's my trailer swerving?" And I'm like, um, "I'm good, I'm good, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm monsters and everything." Like, and he's like, "No, you gotta pull over, bro. Like, you gotta start. I gotta drive." So I had to have him drive. It was bad. I told these guys not to do a one night trip, but you know, they <laughs> did. So it was. But it, we we made it happen though. We, we we made it happen. We were all tired. We were we were like I said, we were in the sun all day long. So that's I think that's really what killed. I mean, we tried we tried going to sleep, yeah. didn't work. Oh, I did. I knocked out. Oh well, yeah, I knocked this, out this guy. You're driving. <laughs> no, no, no. When we had the show, I was sleeping on the on the sidewalk or whatever for like I don't know two hours. Oh my god. Just just chilling while everybody's walking around the show. So yeah, that was that, that it was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty bad. You know, watching my car, you know, go across three lanes and then come back again. So I'm just looking at my car. I'm like, okay, it's 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 gone. It's it's gone. You know, but like I said, you know, we we all we are all you know. It looked like when we were playing musical chairs. Basically, everybody was taking turns driving. Yeah. yeah. So it, like I guess it it was fun and and bad at the same time. But it, we all made it back. Yeah, well, yeah it was fun. God. Thank God for that. So um, I know I've seen a couple of females in the car clubs. Mm-hmm. Is that like a bigger thing now that you guys see from more uh, women joining? We we want that. You know, mm-hmm. we want we want diversity. We want everybody. I mean, it doesn't matter what race, you know, ethnicity, I mean, or, you know, race, gender, whatever. We mm-hmm. want we want all of that. Mm-hmm. So we do have, um, you know, yourself included. Um, we have uh, Michelle. We have Irene. Um, so they're two of our uh, women. Uh, members of the club mm-hmm. you know their, their rides are awesome they're they're always improving they you know they reach out to everybody they go to other you know they go to the shows and see what else they could do because sometimes they think the women are the underdogs but mm-hmm. it's not always that way mm-hmm. i mean you see some cars full of cars who are the women owners you know so mm-hmm. it's nice to see it's definitely yeah, it's, it's definitely it's not just the, just men in in this in this industry it, there's mm-hmm. women too they have i guess that we're all we're all equal yeah. You know, they sometimes some of the, some of these girls' cars are sometimes better than some of the cars that I, the guys that drive. One hundred percent. You know, so I can say that's it, there's no there's no uh, segregation at, at all. Like yeah. I said, they're just as equal as, as we are. Yep. That's cool. So in order to be in, your, in nocturnal, I get what you need to have, mm-hmm. right? But what about recruiting? How do you look at recruiting people? How does that work? It's actually hard out here in Vegas. I mean, for our style, there's not too much out here. To be yeah. honest with you, so it's harder. So when we go to shows, that's when you that's when you see them. That's when you. But you it's it's really the big shows is actually like you know like Lowrider. We have there was a couple guys that came out that live in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Um, we like the 360 car show, um, the cars and tacos that we we've been going to. I, I this is my second appearance. I've gone two years in a row. Yeah. But I see cars there that I don't see on the street that I don't see at little shows at all. It's mainly the big shows and and usually some of those guys that they, they're literally they, they ride solo. Mm-hmm. And that's usually, you know, you, you want to see that they've done stuff to their cars, you know, so versus, oh, you know, getting sometimes a member who wants to join, but they don't want to, they don't want to really want to put in the work. Like, they're mo- they're like not they're motivated. Not motivated. Yeah, yeah. They, exactly. Exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, cool. Very cool. So uh, judging wise, what are the different categories that they judge? Oh, man. Depen- it, depends <laughs> on, it depends on the show because not, uh, not every show doesn't judge the same. I mean, they really technically they should, mm-hmm. but every every scorecard is different. Some some things count at other at other shows, and some don't. So and it's our favoritism style, too yes, sometimes. F- oh, really? and, that, oh, yeah. and that's a hard one to beat because, believe it or not, we're actually the underdog out of out of a lot of clubs because wow. a lot of them it's, it's quantity sometimes that they mm-hmm. that they choose. Oh well, this club brought twenty cars, and this uh, nocturnal only brought maybe seven or eight. But those seven or eight are top, com- notch. are top notch complete builds compared yeah. to those versus 20. those twenty cars that were that were brought that were not all the way built. So that's that's yeah. the kind of thing that we do struggle with with judges. And like I said, there's no sense of trying to argue with a judge, but because they're going by what their scorecard shows, you know, a lot of the things is you know wrap versus paint or stuff like that. You know, that that's the, that's a big thing that they do look at. Or the mods, some mm-hmm. uh, you know, we go some of these local shows and the mods they don't know how to judge it. The modifications we have to our cars were such mm-hmm. a different criteria category so we go to uh, show mainly imports but they have categories for us but they still don't understand what those modifications are or what the time and it took to do that 
So, okay. you know, they'll look at it and say, okay, I think this is cool, but they don't really understand the full uh, aspect of it. And that's the hardest part is when you try to explain to the judge, like, well, we'll sometimes we'll be able to get a chance because uh, when you fill out the paperwork, you'll get to see what the scorecard looks like. Mm -hmm. And if you, when you look at it, sometimes it won't even say you get points for display because every vehicle with us, we put it on display. So we, we actually, I'm sorry, we build a display for the vehicle. Okay. So each, everybody, every member has something different, whether it be carpet, whether it be poles, what, you know, anything. But some shows don't even count that. But big shows, they do. And we're already used to doing it anyway, so we just yeah. All so these shows we no what, right? exactly. We so we bring the display. That's just anyways. us. That's how we're known. Yeah. You know, when we when we pull into shows and they when they when they just They're see our, when they see our front flag, I mean, most of the guys that come into shows, they literally they pull up, they put up a flag, and and that's it. Mm -hmm. Each car of us at least takes twenty between thirty five to forty minutes to set up each mm -hmm. vehicle. And if somebody's done before, say I'm done before you are, okay, well then Sean's gonna go and help. We're gonna help this person. We're gonna help this person. Very cool. Yeah, I've seen that when I've gone. That's yeah. one thing I've noticed with you guys. Same thing like, with the big shows. It's always like a big old extravaganza. Like, it's cool, though. Yeah. Big, you know? The big shows, big shows it, you it, do. Yeah, it, it, it's, we actually, like, say lowrider. We load in a day before, sometimes two days before, just depending on when you're approved for your for your load in. And you help uh, all members from different chapters and everything, so it, it's it's crazy. So it's literally an all-day an all day thing. Sometimes we'll get in, like, mid-afternoon. We don't leave till the night. Yeah. And then we have to be back in the morning for the wow. show. Do you guys get together after the show and go do something together, or by then it's just like a Someti sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Um, if we have members from out of state that want to do something, then mm -hmm. maybe we'll go ahead and you know we'll we'll come together and say, hey, you know, let's invite this chapter out, let's take them out. Yeah. Because considering they're in, you know, they're in our city. Yeah. So yeah. we want we want to you know ex express as much hospitality as we can. Yeah, welcome them in. Yeah, That's definitely. actually cool. So how many shows with this year being so crazy? How many shows did you guys even get to attend? One. Um, currently, two. I haven't I haven't attended one this year. I think we've had no. one, two, maybe no. shows recently. Um, small, very small shows. We had the Voss show not about a month ago. Um, we yeah. have a we have an autism show coming up on yeah. August twelfth, I believe. That mm -hmm. we're definitely going to hit that one up in Henderson. Um, and then we have our normal cars and tacos towards the end of the year. And uh, what end of summer show? Um, I it, no, there's one in uh, I believe it's in December. I think it's the SOC show. Usually everybody goes to that one. It's a big supporter of that okay. one. Um, I've only gone. I only gone one year. I was actually I think the first year I came around was in 2016. Oh. Yeah, so that was about four years ago. The last time I, I I went to that show. Yeah, wow. but they put so much stuff back this year. I mean, we were we were supposed to hit up uh, Dub Phoenix in the middle beginning of the year. Then it was supposed to be Fontana. Then it was supposed to be Dallas and then New Mexico, oh, but they yeah. had a, they pushed everything back. So so far, we really only have Dub da or we, they, Phoenix. Uh, they, what was that other show that we were going to go to? In uh, was it Resmade? Oh, Resmade. Yeah, yep, we, we up north in California. That was going to be a big that, show too. That was that was going to be an act I was actually going to be my first my first appearance there. Yeah. It's about six hours north um, from wow. California, but I mean it's supposed to be a really good show. People booked seven eight months a year in advance to go but just to get there it already they canceled it so i think that was what the first one they started canceling right it was, that was the first before, show canceled, it was before yeah. dub right yeah yeah so typically with things like that they tell you far ahead in advance oh yeah so you guys can it's in oh, september yeah. this year they told us uh, about december or january to start booking to start booking yeah yeah wow. it, they book fast literally within three uh, three to four weeks of the first probably couple weeks it sold out interesting so you said the lowrider one was coming up but you're not really sure if that's going to be canceled or not we don't know is there anything else that's coming up out here locally that you think might still happen uh just a little local shows that we we talked about the uh autism show um august 12th i believe it is mm -hmm. um cars and tacos in november or september right i, I want i, I want to say is it november i think maybe november i know the dates moved around back and forth but that's because, you know because of everything's going on but that, that's really it and maybe Phoenix, and that's that's about it for this and year. And that's and that's going on hopes and dreams. Yeah. <laughs> and how do people get to know about these shows? Like Usually, lo lo a lot of it is social media. Mm -hmm. Honestly, a lot of it is social media. I mean, no one really picks up the phone and says, "Hey, you want to go to this show?" <laughs> and we're like, "What show?" And we yeah. even heard about it. But you know, ev everything you know revolves around some kind of social media platform, whether it be Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, some uh, some kind of messenger. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, that's. Usually where where that goes, but like I said, yeah, nobody picks up the phone anymore and says, "Hey, let's go to Lowrider, bro." Yeah, <laughs> no, you look on the main <laughs> websites, the uh, LowriderMagazine.com. Yeah. You'll find all the, the the tour dates for every show for that year, mm -hmm. and then Dub Magazine tour um, stop, I believe. You'll see all the the tour dates for that. 
That's so. interesting. I want to go back on um, the unfair judging that you guys are talking about. So you're saying that sometimes they'll look at how many people are in a club, and that's what they'll judge on versus the quality and creativity of vehicles? How and many vehicles, yeah. And favoritism. Like, favoritism. like one thing that you know, Sean you know, emphasized on was – was favoritism that that happens at a lot of shows i mean i've i've gone to a few shows and even you know me not even competing you know watching my members when i know they should have won mm -hmm. when you look at the quality of what they put in and yeah. then you they, you see members that have lost to say a car that's almost stock say mm -hmm. and that's you know it's it, it kind of sucks it really it hits you know it hits close to home because you, you put all this time yeah. into this car and then you're losing to somebody who just you know put a couple of lights on their car and then you register yeah. for the shows <laughs> and that costs you know 30 40 50 dollars out of your pocket for a mm. show and it's not about just the registration but yeah. you know if you know a certain club out here you know them personally so you're good friends with them you're gonna vote on their cars more than you would anybody else's or if right. you don't like our style car that happens a lot too. You yeah, might not like our style car. A lot of the judges, you know. So, oh, actually, I said not a lot of the judges. Some of the judges are old school, mm -hmm. so you know. Sometimes we don't. We don't even have a chance. Sometimes, that just depending on the judge, you can look and be like, ah, <laughs> uh, they're gonna look. They're gonna. They walk by the car, but yeah. sometimes it's cool because they'll come to us and be like, oh, who's the owner of this car? Or who's the owner of this car? And they say, oh, can you walk me through and tell me what you have? Yeah. Nice. And, okay, oh, well, what kind of paint or what kind of interior is this? Oh, you know, when you explain to them, they're like, oh, wow, well, that's going to be an 8. That's going to be a 9. That's going to be a 10. Very cool. And, but versus someone who just comes over and takes a look at it, and they're like, oh, well, I, I think it has this. And they don't even know. Yeah. Air, uh, you know air, some of them don't even know what air suspension is. You know, so I guess I better look, like really read up on stuff. Yeah, so I, I, it, yeah, if so if I you're know. not if you're not familiar <laughs> with it, you're, you're not gonna know what you're looking for. Yeah, right. you're, no, and cool. that's and that's the and that's a big that's thing. That's what happens when we yeah. go to shows. We help each other out by you know we look and we ju we basically judge each other, mm -hmm. so we know what wh wh we're bringing to the table. Yep. Yeah. You know, I take ideas from Sean. I take ideas from Eddie. I've had you know Armando, Brian. They've all you know we th we throw we throw each other's you know. Inf info out there I'm like mm -hmm. hey what, what do you think what, what if you want to try this or you want if you want to do this you know I mean whether they use it or not it's okay but it's all the fact that we put it all out there to help we want to feed yeah. that energy off each yeah. other because yeah, Gary might look at something on my car and be like Sean what if you did this way you know what let me check it out so we'll, we'll photoshop it we'll have Eddie's Very or cool. our photoshop it oh yeah you know that looks good let's go ahead and do it so we'll do it or you know what I'm not sure I don't, I'm not a big fan of that but hey thank you still for helping right. you know so we'll do that a lot so but that's good that you guys do that because that definitely helps because sometimes any Anybody else's opinion can either go, you know, one way or the other. Yeah. But if it's going to make it even better. Because we know yeah. the competition, and the competition yeah. is strong, especially our main shows. So we know what we're, they're looking for. So when they're we go out there, we're like, hey, you went to the show. This is what you're seeing now. When mm -hmm. you come back, let's do it like this. That way you step it up a little bit. And we all feed that energy off each other, you know. So it's. I like that. That's cool. And what about in, the, um, in music videos? What kind of content do you guys actually put when you guys are doing the nocturnal videos? What's in them? Um, I guess it just it just depends on like what kind of theme we're going to we're we're, we're going through. I guess that we whether it be rap or whatever I mean, hip hop, it can be either one. It, it doesn't have a, you know like a segregated you know platform of what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. It's really like you know what they ha what really either be art or Eddie or whoever has the idea. Like, hey, let's 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 shoot this. Yeah. You know sometimes we'll just we'll just be driving around and just be you know taking video, cool. and next thing you know you're like oh man that's part of the video. <laughs> yeah. You know like that's I said nice. they 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 do ama they do amazing work. With video. Right. Yeah, not too long ago we shot this one um, with the artist uh, from Competition Zero, Lee Capizzi. Um, you know, what we did is he created a song about our chapter mm -hmm. with some, some of our rides in it, mentioned in it, and we went out and we, we hit the Vegas Strip. Um, we hit a couple of parking lots and we, we try to bring our chapter to the song and create Very that cool. real life dream, you know, so. We, like got, we got a lot of good feedback from it, though. A lot of people liked it. Yeah. You know, but we were actually thinking about actually doing, using the same song, but actually putting maybe like a storyline to it. Maybe something a little That'll bit different. Cool. Yeah. You know, but I guess I'm not really 100% sure what's in the making yet. We'll know when it, when it gets closer. Yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah. I think it's cool because then it gives you a chance to see all the different vehicles you guys got. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Can you tell me something about some of the other members' vehicles? Yeah, I mean, we have everything. I mean, we have, you know, we have a couple Mopars, which is, uh, I have a 300. Irene has a Dodge Charger, which, you know, they're similar vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, Gary's got the Maxima. Eddie has the S10 truck. Our Armando has a bike. So we have everything, right? Uh, we have um, Brian, mm -hmm. who has a Cougar, so it's more of the hot rod style, but we kind of helped him mix it into the dub style. Nice. So, you know, he kept the old school look, but with a new school feel. 
and so that 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 turned out amazing. Yeah, his 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 car definitely did a whole complete turnaround. It's his car is amazing. Like you said, and that's one of our members that literally is built from the from the ground up. Yep. Literally went on a rotisserie, all the way to paint from motor to you name it. It's there's not one screw that on I think on that car that hasn't been untouched. Yeah. Wow, that's actually really cool. And Michelle has you? EXT, so we have everything. That's cool. What do you do though on a bike? The so bike, what, the what bike was a, is a completely different, different level. It's, it's a lot yeah. harder because you have to, you got to think it's, a, you know, you're packing everything, say from a car to truck to everything onto this small bike. Mm-hmm. So you have to, what, you know, with with Armando, say, take take for his bike, mm-hmm. he had to get detailed. So he had to go from you know, the paint. He had to do the extensions on his bike. He had to do his what was it? Um, his his he has leafing on there. You know, he has a lot of chrome lot of chrome yeah and that's and that's a big thing on bikes you want to have chrome the bikes got to stand out more than the, the than the, the car. average yeah right, that's what i'm asking yeah, yeah with the car you know when you open up obviously you're gonna look inside there's so much yeah. you could do that's what i was wondering with the bike what but the bikes what it's a whole different you game you, you definitely i mean chrome i mean same thing you would you can put do in air, t- you could do air suspension you yep. can do everything stereo. you can do yes yeah, there everything yep. you can do with a car you mm-hmm. can do with that bike it just has to be smaller mm-hmm. but it's got to be done right and right now his bike looks amazing yeah his bike is amazing there's like i said there's there's nothing on this bike so far that i can see that hasn't been touched even mm-hmm. like i said from his seat to all the beautiful chrome that he has on there the leafing everything just flows all together and he's already mm-hmm. added more to it as we speak so i mean it's definitely took a, a, a big turn very cool yeah. So I'm excited to actually be part of Nocturnal now because I think we're happy to have you. I, definitely. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> but since I was young, I actually started seeing uh, lowriders when I lived in the Bay Area. Yeah. So it was a big deal for me. Yep. And seeing my uncles and everything they would do to them, you know, but it's nothing like what I see with you guys. So what made you bring the car that you're bringing to the club? Well, what made you what made you decide on what that vehicle is and the look that you're going with? What made you for that? Actually, is because help from Eddie because he obviously knows his stuff and um, it's just seeing the vision that I know just seeing their creativity and everybody else's I can just imagine what and then he just and he just kicks it off and That's says you know it. well we should just go this way <laughs> trust me I know the feeling know. Yeah, I know we, the I feeling this way, Eddie no let's go that way okay. you already know like they can like they can make changes him and art make like anything happen within sometimes seconds honestly yeah you're right they go from oh idea so all of a sudden, here you go. This because is what it could look like. They don't, like see, oh they, don't, they don't see everything like, like we do. Not at Honestly, all. Honestly, like, they see things in a different perspective. When, when you see a cup, okay, oh, it's a cup. Mm-hmm. Well, we we want to know what's in the cup. W- why is the cup made like that? They mm-hmm. see it in a completely different aspect. So it's when, when you get something from them, it's like, okay, well, fuck. Well, maybe I should go <laughs> this way. You just made me feel like Well, shit. especially that they have the tools available to – give you an idea what your car or vehicle or whatever you what own it, might yeah. look like with yeah, what yeah. you want to do. Like, I've given Eddie some things with my wheels before. Like, hey, what if I did purple this way? What if and I did he'll this just way? look at us like, yeah. what? <laughs> or, or, or do it like this and we'll flip it around. So, like, one of the ideas he gave me, like, we put it together and I'm, I'm actually in the process of doing that already. So, cool. you know, that could be for any of us. I know Gary's done the same thing. He wanted to do maybe his patterns one way, but he's like, no, do it this way. And we did it and it turned out It uh, turned awesome, out great, you know? literally. So, I thought I was going to do, you know, completely do something, something else. And then when Eddie and Art got a hold of it, I had no clue what you know what what we were gonna do. Yeah, yeah. And then when I just saw it in the making, I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit, where'd you even come up with this at?" He was like, "I don't know. We just made it up as we went." Yeah, that's I'm like, "What?" Exactly. We're trying to do that with Eddie right now with his truck, but you know yeah. that's not working too well. <laughs> <laughs> he won't listen to us. And what kind of truck does Eddie have right now? <laughs> Some purple truck. <laughs> no, he's got a. He's got a he's yeah, got you're a, done after this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's got a. I was like, well, you uh, you uh, might be getting uh, voted out, bro. I don't know. He's got the Pennywise truck, the Chevy S10. Um, you know, he's got the split hood, mm-hmm. the split bed, as mm-hmm. you see on the screen. Split roof. Split roof. I mean, he he won't stop. He's already redoing some of it. You know, so. I'm surprised the doors don't split yet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he'll still you be able to drive after this. You never know what's gonna happen next. We never know. <laughs> but no, that's 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 a unique build. Like you know, he's he's been taking over shows since I came, since I even came around. I mean, I it's it, it was a completely different truck when I first saw it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was literally one color and it was chrome. Yeah. And then wow. I guess uh, it was like an overnight thing. Literally, it just transformed into this. Wow. It's 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 insane. It's, it, like I said, there's n- that's a whole completely <laughs> different level. But like like you said, you know, we, we, when we go to shows, mm-hmm. that's he's on a different level as far as competing. You know, yeah. there's what is it? Uh, there's from from semi custom to radical. There's you know, just it just depends. Yeah. And with that, that's that's a different level. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. See, that's 
when I started going to hear the shows, that's what did it. I was like, one day, one day. It's like a little kid. We'll talk about one day. I'll do that. Talk about that. Then when you started hanging out with us, Mm -hmm. what made you like our chapter? What made you? I mean, obviously you've been hanging out with us for a little while. So what made you really bite the bullet and say, hey, I want to be with you guys? Well, I thought about it, just didn't say it. <laughs> like, almost from the beginning, I was like, okay, this is cool. I want to do this. I mean, because you're always but around. Was, you know, yeah, you know, I was like, you, we, you, you've no, been hanging sorry. around. No, no, I'm just no, like, who we, is this lady? No, no but we appreciated <laughs> that was it. so funny. No, but, but you, you've yeah. been good people, you know? You've been good no. friends. So, you know, what made you actually say, hey, now it's time to take that step? You know what? Better place in my life to actually be able to do it, but I always wanted to do it yeah. because it really went back to um, being young and enjoying just being around the scene. Yeah, it was good always. But and then seeing you guys and seeing how you guys were with each other, like when you guys bring your wives and kids and seeing everybody together, honestly, that's what really nailed it. Because um, without that, why are you going to want to hang out with those, with those people? Why? Exactly. Why you're do you right. want to do that at all? I mean, you we know, get our time. Because you're going to spend time together. So yeah. you need to like who you're going to be around. It's a big deal. But seeing how you guys were and, and bringing your families and seeing that you guys were a family, then I was like, definitely, if I'm going to do this eventually, these are definitely going to be the people I'm going to be with. It yeah. was like, hands down. There's that's, no even no thought. That's you know how we what I mean? See, that's that's like I guess that's awesome. That's I, exactly know. what we're representing. And that's 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 what and that's what everybody sees when mm-hmm. we go to shows. They they don't see just oh, there's a couple of the members from the from the club. No, it's mm-hmm. it's it's our family, and yeah. all of us are family to each other. So you know, I I know you know I know Sean's wife. I know every everybody's kids. Everybody knows my kids. Yeah. So it's it's, it's almost like the little mascots, I should say. Birthdays, <laughs> Christmas, it's Thanksgiving. I mean, I was at his house for Thanksgiving last year. Eddie's birthday coming up last year, and you know. So we spent Christmas together, Thanksgiving, birthdays, whatever we can. We did, we did that big Christmas dinner. We did. Yeah, that was that was nice. Yeah, we planned a whole Christmas dinner. We had it at uh, Hash House, and we had every member there. We took pictures, and it's awesome, you know. See, I like that. We get our separation from the family. We Mm -hmm. do get our time away from the family Mm because we need to, you know, we all need that. That's what our meetings are for. You know, once once a month or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then, but ninety, I say eighty-five to ninety-five percent of the time, you know, yeah, we're we're all together. Definitely. And, that's, I like that. and I think I want to say that's probably one of the best parts about it is that we're all included. Yeah, yeah, I like that. No, but yeah, that's definitely just yeah. When I think about seeing you guys all the time, it's always been good. I don't so when so when are actually when are you going to be expected to have your car out? Just curious. Yeah, when am I expecting? <laughs> 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 no, she'll months. be born. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be delivering her. Uh, I don't. I think, <laughs> hoping a couple months. Nice. I think we should be able good. to. Gonna make my calls. <laughs> no, whatever you need, you know, we're um, here. How, how, how do you feel with your pro- the progress um, of, of the vehicle? Um, <coughs> we're good. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. You happy with it though? <laughs> yeah, I just I just can't wait. That's the problem with me. It's, that's what's hard. <laughs> that's, it's, I can't that's wait. the hardest I part. See it it's, done. The, it's the fi- so the that's finished what's sad production. Is I want to see it what, done like now. <laughs> but whether you're down, but it takes. But you know, it takes time. Yeah. I know it takes time. Don't rush it because you might be upset. You might not do what you want. Don't cut corners. No. Yeah. No. I've been told that. Yeah. Just take it slow. And yeah, I, Eddie coaches me, so that's what's yeah. nice. Because I have a clue, but really you don't need have advice. a clue. So you, <laughs> so really don't you have said a, clue, a couple of months, you'd be a cu- couple of weeks. So I'll be yeah, getting right. a call soon. Yo, <laughs> yeah, no, I know, right? It'd be You're a couple right. of weeks, I promise you. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. Do you think, um, so if everything goes like, if things start to get canceled, yeah. do you think you guys will just do something fun so we can just have a car show like of our own? Honestly, you yeah. I mean, something? there's still, right now, they still have little meets. Like, mm-hmm. like Saturdays, little. they have like a cars and coffee thing where a couple people come and hang out. Okay. Um, different places all over town. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we could do our own little thing. We go to the park yeah. and hang out. Honestly, right now, even if there's not a show, I honestly, that feeling right there, just even just us. We're thinking about probably doing like maybe our own cruise night. Yep. Some, yeah, something like that. Cool. Something we can bring our, just our members out. And just as a reminder to the city that, you know, we're still out there. Yeah. You know, no, but no one sees us. And we want to stay motivated, too. We don't yeah. want to let this get our motivation down because this mm-hmm. right now could demotivate motivate anybody, whether yeah. even just in your personal life. You could be just sitting at home all day like, oh, this sucks, you know. Right. But if you're working a car especially – you want to stay motivated because you don't want to cut corners. Mm-hmm. You want to have ask something. Just you lose that motivation. Exactly. Then it's just, it just goes down from there. Whether you're down for yeah. one month or you're mm-hmm. down for two years like I have been, you want to stay motivated because okay. that one little thing will set you off. Trust me, there was a couple times okay. throughout the last year or two I was it w- not motivated. I know, I, know, you know? I know it was rough for you this, this past I think this past year – Coming to the finishing part, I think it was was, was probably the, the hardest part. It was hard. You know, it was it was a lot of tr- a lot of traveling. I didn't travel as much, you know, <laughs> back and forth. Yeah, them. back and forth like you did. But you know, <laughs> when we when we took you know my car out to get you know just to get some stuff done, and just you know seeing your car you know parked and covered, I know mm-hmm. I know it's kind of heartbreaking just you know seeing it sit there, yeah. you know. But like I said, now it's home. 
you know, you know, you know, doing some finishing touches on it, and yep. yeah, it's, it's almost there, man. Yeah. So it'll get there. So hey, one time I remember actually <laughs> going to meet with you guys. I think it was a uh, Craig Ranch. I think they had mm-hmm. something going from there. Yeah. And I went, and when I walked in, because I was a little late, everybody was there. Um, and right when I walked through, when you actually come in and start seeing all the vehicles, uh, I saw Nocturnal. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, they're over there. And I'm like, man, none of these people look familiar to me. But okay, let me just find out where like the main people are that I'm <laughs> used to. And I asked the guy, and he's like, oh, no, they're over there. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I was like, okay, that's weird. So now I, that's when I found out, like, oh, there's more of them, <laughs> but just not from here. Yeah. So what is that like? You guys have a site, isn't it? Um, Nocturnal Worldwide. Like, so we that? we definitely have yeah we have a nocturnal worldwide mm-hmm. uh, website that uh, Eddie and Art created mm-hmm. where you could literally go on there see all the different chapters from all over the world wow. click on that chapter you'll see pictures videos whatever they have done they're they're putting that content in there mm-hmm. then you could even click on members rides maybe see more pictures as you see on the cool. screen right now um, you'll see all the logos from all the states from all wow, the chapters a lot of places. so like California has millions of chapters you know. Oh, um, yeah. We have two chapters here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Nevada has three. We have Reno, Vegas, and Henderson. Mm-hmm. Um, so Arizona has multiple. So you click on you click on the chapter. You'll see the content. You'll see the members' pictures. Um, you could actually even click on their rides and maybe even get their uh, social media information, or they might be working on that right now. Wow. So if you like a certain member ride and you want to contact them or you want to get ideas of where they got that part from or whatever, click on there check out the social media. Um, we all have Facebooks. We all have Instagrams. Um some of us have Snapchat, you know, so some of us have dedicated ones for just the vehicle itself. Um, but yeah, you can click on all, like that's ours right there. Um, you'll see videos that we've done anywhere from members rides, stuff like that. So, um, Very cool. yeah. Yeah. That's when I found out. <laughs> it was funny too. There, that like, there was, that there was more than one, yeah, cha- I'm more like, than one chapter. Why haven't I seen all these other people when I've gotten together with you guys? I'm like, who are all these people? And then that's when I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing you'll notice is when we go to a major show dub or, Lowrider, mm-hmm. we all wear the Dickies. One logo. It's not Henderson. It's There's not Las Vegas. Right. Nobody segregated. We're all the same. We're Very all cool. nocturnal. So you'll see members from all over the world that you get to meet. You might not. You might see them on Facebook. You know, like, oh, I saw you on Facebook. I know who yeah. you are. You know, they could be. I met members last year from New York and Japan. And you guys yeah, keep in touch. To, yeah, no, yeah, a lot, a lot of us. Yeah, we do, cool. we do keep in contact, you know, through social media, of course. Like I said, we don't, I don't just pick up the phone. Sometimes, some, you know, some of us do. I mean, some, yeah, no, some do. Yeah, I know you do too. Very yeah, cool. some, you know, so Japan, they have they have a unique a unique style. Like, is they they have they have some beautiful cars. I can only imagine. They have they have yeah. some. They beautiful take cars. our style and they'll double mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. it's really crazy. Cool. I mean, Very you can cool. you can look at some of the cars now and just and just you know the builds that they do are just are amazing. Mm-hmm. And Amazing. I, I think we're hoping to at least go to Japan to visit. Uh, maybe not take the rides, but you know, we're definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that that that'd be a hard one. You know, it's, you know, trying to trying to get that shipped yeah. over there. I've looked yeah. into it. I've had a friend that <laughs> yeah, I, I had a friend I that did it. I've had a friend that did, did it. Yeah, it took him. Uh, I forgot a week to get there. I think or two weeks or something like that. But what? And it yeah, wasn't it, it too goes much. on. It goes on a freighter. Yeah, I believe it goes on a freighter. It wasn't too expensive, but yeah. Or uh, he did Hawaii too, but yeah, it, it's pretty awesome. Wow, that, that's a hard one. Either. I don't know. Like I said, I'm flying, and then my, you know, my car is in the middle of the ocean. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not wait, sure how. Why did my car make it? Wait, I'm what's going sh- on? Yeah, yeah, you better hope you have. Well, yeah, full insurance. Look at the Titanic. <laughs> well, I don't think that's covered. <laughs> I hope so. I, ooh, I don't know. Well, you know what? Thank you guys so much for being on LSD. And you guys, you know what? Tell your friends about it. Oh, you know? definitely, definitely, definitely. But thank you. I appreciate everything you guys. No, thank you for having it. us. Yeah, we, we appreciate I'm it. Yeah. I'm excited to get my car going and get some. Got got I'm pretty sure, like I said, you know, dealing with Eddie and Art. It'll be it, out next it, week. It'll yeah. be out coming out real fast. <laughs> well, that'll be great. Thank you so much, you guys. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I